Welcome to the Physics Coaster, one of the world's most breathtaking rides in which you can unravel the mysteries behind roller coasters and learn about the math and physics put into this amusement park ride. For your safety, keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the car at all times. Please sit in an upright position. Fasten your seatbelts and hold on tight to the handlebars because this ride is going to blow your mind. As you can see, the roller coaster is climbing up the hill with the help of a chain lift. The chain lift is doing work on the roller coaster to reach to the top of the hill to gain potential energy. Now from here on, it is in the hands of gravity to control the ride. When the car was released from the chain lift, the roller coaster blasted down the hill. By doing so, the roller coaster converted the potential energy it had into kinetic energy. As the car approaches the ground, it acquires more and more kinetic energy, therefore more and more velocity, which explains the increased speed near the bottom of the track. But no matter where the roller coaster is in the system, the total energy, otherwise known as the mechanical energy, remains constant. Mechanical energy is the sum of the potential and kinetic energy in a system. The roller coaster follows the law of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. However, it can be changed from one form to another. In a roller coaster, the energy is constantly transferred between potential and kinetic energy when in motion. But eventually, due to friction from wind, track, and brakes, the energy is transferred to other forms such as heat and comes to a stop. So blame friction for stopping your thrill and enjoyment on roller coaster rides. Thank you for riding the physics coaster. You can now lift up the safety bar and exit to your right.